Legends have spoken of this day, and I, I always thought I was prepared for it, but it's much more beautiful than I could have ever imagined. On a day where everyone was already balling out, Logan Cook was doing the footballs what Zach Wilson wishes he could do to Cougars, McManus was hitting the ball purer than a nun on Easter, so there was just one left in the special team's holy trinity who had to step up. And while their long snapper, a man by the name of Ross Matisik, was already having a good game, well, snapping lasers, blocking guys into the dirt, and covering well too. There was just an extra level he would go. The game was, honestly, already a bit out of reach for the Titans. However, we're in the fourth quarter, and crazier things have happened than miraculous fourth quarter comebacks, which is made ever slightly more plausible due to the fact that the Jaguars were about to punt. And punt they did, but as the returner catches the ball trying to make a man miss, he wonders why this ball wasn't further into the coffin corner until he sees Ross hauling ass like a moving truck for a petting zoo with nothing more than the illest intentions as that returner realized he was the coffin and Ross was about to put the last nail in it for the game as he wraps up he gator rolls while stripping the ball out and then immediately turning his head and diving on the ball like some sort of big cat and man I wish I could think of a big cat that could represent how ferociously graceful he was but that's aside the point because he gets the strip tackle and the recovery the double double no assists in the moment that little long snappers and little long snap bits dream of from the moment they first turn themselves upside down to throw the ball so live it up Ross and of course the Jaguars out of pure obligation drive down and immediately score a touchdown off of the back of this heroic effort see from one of these guys as Russ Matisik jarring the football loose, the officials have confirmed the call.